hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on ansible so this will be a continuation of ansible tutorial for beginners and in this tutorial we are going to learn about ansible vault so let's see what we will be covering in this tutorial so we'll be going through what is ansible vault and why we have to use that and we also will see how to encrypt files using ansible vault and you know we'll also see you know how to view these encrypted files so once you encrypt the files using ansible vault how you can see it and also we will see how to decrypt these files and also how to make use of this uh, encrypted file in ansible playbook so this will be the main topic which we'll be covering in this tutorial we'll be going through each and every steps using demo and uh, let's talk about a little bit like how or what do you mean by ansible vault and uh, encrypting the content using that so ansible vault uh, you know is a feature that allows users to encrypt the values or structures data structures within the ansible so what does this means like you know uh, ansible vault is a utility uh, which we can make use of to secure your confidential data so for example if you have some data in your ansible playbook or if you have some uh, you know yaml file which you want to encrypt it on the disk to make it use in the ansible add or command or ansible playbook so you have some content in your playbook or uh, some uh, file which you want to make use of it in the playbook you know which have some uh, encrypted data like some username and password or some content then you can use ansible vault to encrypt that so you make use of ansible vault you know to encrypt the variables or even the entire files or the ml uh, playbook file so we will see about that you know in the demo section like how we can encrypt the playbook using ansible vault and how you know you will see you know once you encrypt the file how you decrypt it and also how we can make use of some variable files which you can make use of in the playbook so you don't need to encrypt the whole playbook but the variable file alone so before i get into the actual demo part uh, i would kindly request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet or if you are new to my channel so i will also like to request you to like my videos share and comment great so let's get started into our demo so i have uh, the machine ansible machine here and i also have a client you know where uh, i'll be running some ansible playbook which will run on the other client so those things are already configured in my host and also the test servers which i'll be using as a host which where the other client will be running so all those things i have shown it in the previous tutorial so i'm not going to do that again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make use of this uh, playbook where i'm using the you know test servers as uh, you know the machines where i want to run this playbook and i'm going to make uh, you know become uh, you know to run it as a pseudo user and for running the pseudo user i'm going to use a password for my root account so if you see this one i'm uh, you know uh, writing the password as a text here string itself right so I, i'm making my password open here right so i'm using this variable uh, here in the playbook directly and I'm going to use the you know, installation of Apache using the YAM module because I'm using our CentOS machine and I'm also starting the uh, enabling and starting the Apache service. So that's the overall process. But this section I want to, you know, don't want to expose it. So I want to encrypt this uh, whole uh, playbook. So let me do one thing. Let me copy this content and I will create a playbook first. Okay. So I will create Ansible wall dot yaml file okay so let me save this so this is like a normal playbook okay if you read this uh, file ansible vault.yaml you can see the content of it right where i am exposing the password so now what i want to do is i want to encrypt this file so i don't want to show the content of this uh, uh, playbook to others so what i will do is i will use ansible vault so i will use ansible vault okay and uh, i will use encrypt and the file name so the file name is ansible vault.yaml right so what we are doing is we are not creating a uh, file we are uh, encrypting an existing yaml file okay we will also see how we can create a file directly using ansible vault so let me run this so what it will do is it will ask you a password so this password is not the same password we given inside you know uh, the yaml file okay this is a password which you need to keep remember or you need to make a note of it somewhere because this if you lose this password then you cannot 
uh, you know decrypt this uh, file or you cannot use this file as you know a playbook or you cannot run it because this password is what the key to uh, decrypt uh, this fi uh, encrypted file okay so I have given some password here now if I go and uh, read this uh, vault file again now you see I don't see any content what we have written it's completely encrypted now right so it's in the format of AES256 so now this file is encrypted and you know uh, we are not able to see anything uh, from it right now if you want to run this uh, playbook uh, you can still run it because even though it's encrypted you can still run this playbook so in order to run this uh, playbook what you need to do is you need to use ansible playbook and uh, you need to ask uh, wall password so you need to give this uh, parameter uh, ask vault pass and the YAML file, okay, which we are already encrypted. So this is an encrypted Ansible what the YAML is an already encrypted file. So if you run Ansible playbook and you need to give this uh, ask vault pass, okay. So if you run that, then it will ask you for the password. So you need to give the password which you given at the time of creation of this uh, uh, encrypted file where you know as I mentioned you that's the key to uh, unlock this uh, encryption right so now since I given that password it's run this uh, playbook and uh, since it's the Apache everything is already installed it says no change everything is okay but you see it's uh, run uh, fine right and it's uh, making use of the encrypted file so now if you want to decrypt this file so what do you have to do is you have to use ansible vault and you need to use uh, decrypt and the uh, file okay so once you run it it will ask you again the password so you need to give the password so now you have uh, decrypted the file so if I go back and read this file now it's not encrypted it's decrypted so that's you know how you can decrypt uh, files which are already encrypted so you can see uh, the pa world fa password which we have created is very key so if you forget that then it will be you'll be in trouble or so you have to keep it somewhere safe okay so let's do one more thing okay so if I see uh, in this YAML file if you see I'm giving this uh, variable directly here so what I will do is I don't want to encrypt the whole uh, this YAML file I'll make use of this uh, variable alone in a different file then I will make use that file in, in here so let me just uh, remove this uh, file and I'll just show you how, how what I'm going to do okay so let me remove it okay, that is removed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file called secret.yaml okay and I'm going to put that variable part alone ansible pseudo pass and the password I'm just going to save that alone here that key value pair so now I have a file called secret now I want to create another file okay which I will call that ansible vault.yaml again now in this one I'm going to change the format a little bit okay so if you see what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use the same content to install Apache and enable and service and I'm going to use the same host server to become yes but rather than giving the variable directly I'm going to call this secret.yml file which is uh, you know save it in the same folder so I'm going to use wars underscore file for this uh, you know YAML uh, Ansible playbook so I'm going to save this so I'm going to use that secret.yml which I just created okay so let me save this so now if you see the secret is uh, you know not an encrypted file okay so I can read it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to encrypt the secret file alone okay so uh, other option is you can uh, encrypt this file so or other option is you can directly create is it as an encrypted file so what I will do is I'll just remove this uh, secret okay and uh, let me create uh, directly an encrypted file so I will do is ansible vault create and I'm going to give the name for the file which is secret.yaml which I have used inside uh, uh, that uh, no playbook so now it's asking for a wild password okay I, so I have to give the password again and uh, confirm it so as I said this password is the one which will uh, control your 
encryption and decryption and how when you run the playbook you have to give that uh, wall password okay so I've just uh, saved that file so it has created a new file called secret.yml and it's directly encrypted because we created it directly using Ansible wall create okay so we are not uh, using uh, encrypt for an existing file so now if I read this Ansible vault it's not an encrypted file but this secret.yml is an encrypted file okay now we can run this Ansible playbook so if I run directly uh, Ansible vault it will not run because you know uh, it's a, it, we need to decrypt that uh, secret right so again you have to give this uh, same kind of uh, parameters like ask vault pass okay so once you run it it'll ask you for the password then you give the password it will uh, decrypt that uh, secret okay so it's running now you can see it has run uh, completely right so that's another way you can do it you can uh, use uh, encryption in that format like you don't have to encrypt the whole uh, uh, playbook you can encrypt a small part of it alone and the uh, other option is like if you want to edit an existing uh, encrypted file so there also you can use ansible vault edit then you can uh, use uh, that file name and you can give the password which is used to encrypt so there you can directly edit it so that's the also way you can uh, do the edit of the encrypted file okay and you can also if you want to change the password for you can also do that so if you want to change this password, well, vault password which you set for this one, you can use Ansible vault uh, rekey. I think it's a uh, rekey. Okay, it's a typo. I think it's uh, rekey, and uh, we need to give the uh, file. So again, it will ask you for the vault password to start. Then it asks for a new password, so you can give a new password and confirm it. So if you want to change the password, you can use this uh, you know, uh, rekey uh, parameter as well. So well, Ansible wall rekey secret.yml, which is an encrypted file. So now I have changed the password for it. You can also do, you know, like uh, when we run the playbook, we have used Ansible playbook uh, and we have mapped ask password, right? In that place, if you want to keep this password in a file, you can keep it in that file and you can map that as well uh, at the time of running a playbook. So, but the other, the cause is like when you keep that file uh, in your machine, then again, it's not an encrypted uh, file. So you, you need to find which is the best way you, for you to do this. So this is one of the way, you know, for Ansible, you can encrypt, uh, you know, the f contents which you don't want to expose to others. So that is all uh, for this tutorial. So I hope it's an informative tutorial for you. So I would request you to subscribe to my channel for, for watching more videos. And also I would request you to like, share, and give your feedback. So thank you for watching.